Hello everyone. In this episode, I will show you how you can change multiple keyframe values at the same time in DAS Studio. And this is sometimes necessary if you want to make a change that isn't just happening on a single keyframe, but on multiple keyframes. So imagine you had an animation that has been brought in from something like Mixamo, and it has keyframes on like, I don't know, 200 frames, and you need to change a joint rotation on every single frame. And there's really no mechanism that makes that easy in DAS Studio that you can say add 10 to every keyframe in this sequence. Well, there is and there isn't. There there is, a, there is a way to do this, and um, thank you so much for Dillage to bringing this to my attention. It's been something I've been meaning to make a video on for a while. I just never had the right example. So there we go. I have a mix and more animation here of a woman walking relatively fast over the course of 30 frames in place, because I thought that'll make it very easy for me to show you what, how this works. So everything is kind of okay with this animation but imagine there is something wrong with it and let's just imagine we have an issue with her shoulder here so imagine the hands are digging into the hips every once in a while i mean as i said they don't but if that was the case then i could go and uh, in a, on a still image i would just go and grab the arm here and then have a look on my parameters tab and then i would say under transforms under rotate i would have a look at what's wrong here so maybe i need to adjust the bend to make that arm come out i could also adjust the front back whatever needs fixing really or maybe it's the twist i don't really i don't really know let's say it's a twist so i want to make a change to the twist but if i do that this is only really happening on the keyframe that i'm currently on so if i go and move my playhead over then that change isn't propagated over to the next keyframe so let me go and undo that Control z so that the first keyframe is okay again so this is where the graph editor comes in handy and so the way this works is that it'll show us a number of keyframes as well as their value to make them appear we need to select that particular track and then open the graph editor so that they all appear let me show you what i mean by that i'm going to go give myself some room here and you'll see this whole timeline here is now open. Make sure that the value you're trying to investigate is actually showing under the types menu. So in my case, it's rotation. It's in there, so that's that's fine. I don't think I need other alias and hidden. I'm just going to try and I don't even need translation here. I'm going to go and make it super simple. I'm just going to show rotation because that's what I need. So, but down here, I have my left shoulder bend, which is the joint I'd like to change. So then in here, I can go and open this up and under properties I can go to the general transform rotations and st stuff like that and here's the bend value that's the one I'm interested in so you need to select this track here otherwise you don't see any keyframes appearing in the next step so these are all my keyframes here at the very bottom of my timeline there's this little divider icon here can you see that at the very bottom if I hover over that if I click on that I see the second window almost opening up here underneath my timeline here and that's going to show me the values of the keyframes over time so this is another important consideration to make if you don't see any of these values it could be that your timeline itself isn't in advanced view so that happens on this little disclosure triangle here on the right hand side this little thing if you select that then you'll see that there's something up here under view mode that is basic intermediate and advanced and for us to see this divider here you need to open the advanced view otherwise you won't see many of these options that i'm showing you now just something to be aware of so just in case it's not showing that but so in my case i'm going to go scroll down here i'm going to go and select the bend track and then i'll go and open my dope sheet or my my keyframe editor some applications call this a dope sheet I'll give myself some room here and i can see some keyframes here if i go and select a different track like the front back you'll see that my keyframes are in a different position if i select a different joint and a different track then you'll see there might not be any keyframes there so sometimes you might see something like this and you think hey there's no keyframes here what's happened and this is because if you hover in this window and you scroll then you'll see that 
the values change and it's essentially a different zoom level that you'll see if you look very closely you can see these little numbers here so what's happening here is that this line here in the middle represents the value of zero for any of the parameters anything going up from there are positive values anything going down from there are negative values and since they could be very small or very large it's not an exact science how the zoom level looks thankfully there's this option here on the right this little square if i go and select that then the zoom level will be adjusted so that all keyframes can be displayed on the page at the same time so if i click this now it'll go and do this and that is because it goes and you know changes this this here is moving the whole display up and down this thing here is going to zoom it in much like scrolling your mouse wheel so that lets you go and adjust essentially the display of your keyframes here so it's one of those things you've got to get used to and play around with so now back to the issue at hand that we want to adjust all these keyframes at the same time so i can do that by if i go to the first frame here and if i go and left click this first keyframe and i move it up and down you can see what's happening in my scene so it's essentially exactly like changing the parameter on the slider uh, i've just noticed that i'm actually using the wrong one i didn't want to use front back i want to use the bend but just to show you this as an example i can go and control z this it's the same as moving this slider here that changes that keyframe at the bottom and it also changes the slider value so this is literally what the, what this does let's go to the bend value because that's the one that i wanted to actually change so I'll just select this track here and i can see my keyframes have gone away i'll click this little square icon to make them all appear on the screen maybe even zoom out a little bit and once again same thing here if i go and left click and drag this keyframe then i can see the change on my figure and i can also see the change on my slider Control z i'll just go and move the slider it does the same thing so then it, it probably becomes clear what happens next i'm going to go and left click and drag multiple keyframes it's a marquee selection and this is now going to change this position for all the keyframes if i go and left click and drag one of them they'll all change their value so as i do this this is now going to change the, basically give an offset to all these keyframes either in the positive or the negative direction depending on where i want them to go so if i do this i maybe just make it more extreme as i go and move my playhead you can see that this change has been made on all the keyframes that were selected and that is kind of the the magic beauty of it so this means you can go through your animation and make changes where they need to happen so if you maybe have a longer animation and there's only a certain bunch of keyframes in which your character puts their hand into the hip and you want to change like these 20 keyframes or these 50 keyframes you can figure out what what they are just go select from here to there and then you know that's that's going to be the bunch of keyframes make sure what the changes that you want to make and then grab them all with the keyframe editor and then move them up or down thereby changing the value for all these keyframes that are currently selected i hope that made sense let me actually show you one other trick if i say i wanted to stick with my animation here and i wanted her to turn her head into a particular direction so that's a completely different um, unrelated issue now not the arms but it's the head if i go and select that head and i'll say there's the side by side value if i were to go and whoops not the side by side sorry it's the twist isn't it twist much better so if i wanted her to move her head to the other direction once again if i do this on one keyframe and i move to the next then her head snaps back and i don't want to do that i want to have a control z here and i want to see where this track actually is i can go and close my dope sheet down again on the head track make yourself as much room as you need here on the head you have the properties in properties you have the general and the rotation and we're dealing with the twist and i can see there's a keyframe on every single frame now so i'm going to go and open my dope sheet up again or keyframe editor whatever you want to call it with that track selected these are now the twist keyframes for the head i can go and make sure i'm seeing the change i can go and left click and drag a single keyframe making that change happen here exactly right and you can also see the interpolation that das studio is doing there if you don't like that then you can go and change that and i can go and left click and drag all my keyframes here and then go and make her head move to the left or the right depending on where i want it to move if this doesn't quite reach 
it like literally just visually you can go and just zoom out a little so thereby being able to make a larger change so it's gonna it, it has a limit on there now but if that wasn't the case you're gonna make much larger changes there so let's say that is what i want if i go and play back the animation she's going to walk and her head is going to be turned into that direction for the whole duration i hope that makes sense i hope this was helpful in getting started with changing multiple keyframes if you have any questions about this then please let me know in the comments other than that thank you so much for watching i will see you next time take care bye bye